variable is truly estimated on this question. Because um, I, I got the idea from you all and from looking at some old study guides and tests that it's, it's mainly an informational type of uh, exam that you guys have been doing. There hasn't been a lot of critical analysis or anything like that. Is that a correct assumption? Well, yeah. Okay, so it's, it's mainly going to be listing and, and short description. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Do we have any copies of that guide left? Yeah. So that we can hand it out to the chapter 16. I did not give you a reading assignment, which is fine because you guys had actually been doing reading assignments like Luke the first day for chapter 789. I thought that was enough. So we're going to work through some key points in chapter 16. What chapter 16 deals with is one of the course outcomes, which is what are the differences in nutrient needs different stages of the life cycle. So we're taking a look at conception and birth all the way up through older adult today. <clears throat> and you can also start filling out if you want to, start filling out part of your study guide. Has everybody signed up for a presentation time? say five major points maximum in that because it's going to be bang bang bang. If you do five points you only have two minutes per point. So out of that eight page paper you're going to pick three to five key points that you don't have to be reported on. Five to ten minutes. Okay. So let's uh, let's we'll start with some of the study guide questions. Some of these are common sense, but they may not be common to everybody. Everybody's experience. Okay. Uh, the first one there is why is nutrition important before conception? Yeah. Yeah. 
time because uh, there's a lot of cell division and things that are taking place immediately after the egg is fertilized and typically several weeks before a female may know she's pregnant. So nutrition is important before conception because of those cell divisions that take place within the first few days after fertilization. <coughs> so if the mother is not healthy at that time, it can have detrimental effects on the development of, uh, of the baby. Do I need to write that down? Are you guys writing that down? Can I? Yes? <clears throat> Why is nutrition important before conception? Because of the multiple cell divisions. And does that make sense to you? The multiple cell divisions that are taking place within the first few days after fertilization. Before the female may even know she's pregnant. Okay, why is nutrition important during pregnancy? Yeah, there's a lot of development and growth going on, rapid development and growth. So we've got, uh, <clears throat> typically there are, uh, full-term pregnancy lasts 38 to 42 weeks, and so they set it up in the trimesters. Did you guys go through this in the physiology probably? I know Don was showing the birth of a baby the other day in one of his classes. Mm -hmm. I heard that in the hall. <clears throat> okay, so here, here are the key points for this question. During the first trimester, you've got rapid cell division and tissue formation. Cell division. Yeah. And tissue formation. Yep. Rapid cell division and tissue formation. So anytime you've got uh, rapid cell division taking place, you've got to have a constant source of nutrients. So we've got the point that fetus is extremely sensitive to nutrient deficiencies and toxin buildup. So if metabolically, 
the female is not operating at optimum, then you can have nutrient deficiencies and you can also have toxin buildup, which can cause problems <coughs> with development. I think the one the textbook refers to the most frequently is um, folic acid de deficiency, which causes spina bifida. <coughs> don't have the spinal uh, closure around the spinal column. So second, third trimester, rapid growth and development then. <laughs> so the second and third trimesters, if you're, if you don't have uh, a good diet, by good diet that means you're getting plenty of the vitamins and minerals that you need for that additional 20 to 25 pounds that the female is carrying around total. If you're not getting the appropriate nutrient load, nutrient level, which includes your vitamins and minerals, then that can inhibit brain development, organ development, and also cause low birth weight. <laughs> and the part of a nutritious diet during pregnancy does not include alcohol. smoking. <clears throat> so I jumped ahead to the next question a little bit with that. What are the nutrient needs of the of, of a human female during pregnancy? I said they've got to have enough nutrient intake and vitamins and minerals to support that additional 25 pounds as an average of additional weight that they're going to have to maintain during pregnancy. To, well, it, to support the additional body weight, that additional 20 to 25 pounds. Yeah. One of the one of the difficulties with adolescents who are pregnant is they have such high nutrient needs of vitamins anyway. Plus you. Throw uh, a pregnancy on top of that, it's extremely difficult for uh, adolescents to have the appropriate nutrient and vitamin intake in order to support that pregnancy. They really have to watch it very closely. 